uh, welcome back to this uh, session where we will be solving few more problems of planes okay so the question is as you can see on the screen a uh, rectangular lamina of 35 mm into 20 mm rests on hp on one of its shorter edges the lamina is uh, rotated about the edge on which it rests till it appears as a square in the square in the in the top view the edge on which the lamina rests is inclined at 30 degree to bp draw its projections and find its inclination with hp that is the question so first things first let us draw the xy line uh, normal line i have taken so let me draw the lines so let me name it x and y x y here v p and uh, h p here so i have done that so after this what is the first thing to, to be done the rectangular lamina is there is 25 by 20 is uh, is resting on one of its shorter edges so shorter edge means what it should be 20 by 35 so 20 on the 20 on the previous side and on the resting side and 35 on the uh, vertical side so let me draw that so it is uh, 35 by 20 so like this yeah so this is what we have done now take this select this and make it as uh, visible okay so like this we have done we have done the visible part now here i have to get the dimension as 20 and 35 uh, 20 and 35 is done so from here i should draw the projections visible line projections i have to, i should draw visible uh, projections so i'll take normal here normal here so one here one till here okay now after this i'll take uh, visible line visible line i will take from here to here end point end point so let me name name the uh, namings now okay so this is uh, a here b here c here and d here and similarly this is what a dash in bracket d dash similarly b dash in bracket c dash so this is over so the first question is over right second question now it, it is to be tilted at an angle of oh they are not given the angle but they have given whether the rectangle becomes square in the second portion so square means the 20 side is parallel so this 35 becomes 20 so considering that what i will draw is i'll take a square here so from here i'll take uh, 20 from here to here and the dimension should be 20 and 20 right so 20 20 i will just draw okay so now 20 20 i have drawn now there is a square now take now take line from all the end points and join this now extend this further to get the extension now i know that this length is what this length is 35 so i'll take arc by center point from this point i will cut the arc of 35 cut the arc of 35 now finally from this point until until i reach the intersection to get the intersection take zoom so i'll, I'll get the intersection perfect intersection now like this okay now select this and make it as visible line done right after this now get the inclination angle what is the inclination angle so that is also done now i have not done the naming now i have not done the naming a b c d similarly here so i'll just uh, name this this is a dash so uh, a bit down this is a dash in bracket d dash 
here b dash in bracket c dash so this is what the second question is sick the rectangle has, has become a square the, la the last condition is the edge on which the lamina rests so the lamina is resting on ad ad should be resting at, at on bp at an angle of 30 degree so what i will draw is i will draw an angle of 30 from the reference plane like this i will draw so let me get the angle first so this angle this line should be normal line and this la angle should be you can see here check the angle from here to here angle is 39 is, is there but i want 30 so i'll draw 30 now so now ad the resting uh, lab edge should be on the 30 degree line what i will do i'll take move option i'll take the whole thing i'll select the whole thing i want uh d8 to, to be there so I'll just place like this okay uh, so now i did cut paste so i want to copy i'll press ctrl z i will undo it i'll take this c here i need a copy here so orange color click on that so that becomes copy paste so take this click on d cl uh, select a point wherever on on that line now take rotate take rotate from here to here so from this point to this point i'll just turn like this so now it is turned now i'll take from a i'll take from a till uh, this point uh, i think a a is there here only so no, no issues so b will go up so i'll draw till b then uh, c is also there at the top so i'll draw till c and d will stay here on the x y line so i'll just uh, finish it off now sideways also i will draw uh, projections from here also so extra lines i'll just trim it off whichever not required now here what are the points so this is what this is uh, a dash here so a little bit up i will uh, just write a dash this is a dash this is uh, b dash uh, and then this is uh, c dash and this is uh, d dash now take line it should be visible line because it is a edge now so from a to b to c to d then to back to a okay so this is what the uh, solution for this problem looks like understood so this completes the solution for this problem we'll go to the next problem now okay So the next problem is like this, a rectangular lamina of sides 20 into, into 25 mm has an edge in HP and adjoining edge in VP is tilted in such a way that the front view appears as a rectangle of 20 into 15. So in the first position, the rectangle is 20 into 25, one edges in HP and adjoining in VP, that becomes a rectangle of 20 into 15. The edge which is in VP is 30 mm from the right profile plane. So from the right profile plane, the distance is 30 mm. Now they are, they are asking you to draw the top view, front view and the left profile view in this position. And then find its inclination with the corresponding principal planes. That is what the question states. Now for that reason, the first things first, let me draw the XY line first. Now that is a normal line. So take normal line just draw a line like this now here uh, i'll take uh, x and y here and then here the vp and hp okay like this now a rectangular lamina of 20 into 25 so i should draw a rectangle of 20 to 25 in the reference plane now before i do that i should i should get to know that it is having an edge in HP adjoining in VP in such a way that the front view, so there is a clincher here, since they are given front view, I should start from VP. Otherwise, I should have started from HP only. Now, since they are given front view is, is looking like this, so that is the hint that I should start from VP, okay? So let me start. Now 20 to 25, I should draw a rectangle. Take rectangle now, 
uh, rectangle 20 to 25. So start from here. This is uh, uh, 20, give 20 there, and here 25 you give. Okay, on the other side. So the this is the rectangle. So that is what uh, you are getting. Now you just move this up above, make it as visible, make it as visible. Take move option. Okay, take move option. So I don't want to copy. So I'll take this and move above like this. Okay, you can check its dimension now. Dimension is 20 by 25, right? So this is what the front view looks like. The corresponding top view, top view and corresponding top view is also there on the point itself, on the two points itself. So one is here, one is here. So let me name the namings now. So first uh, top view. So what is the top view namings? So here you can name it as uh, here uh, A dash, uh, here uh, B dash, C dash, and uh, D dash. Uh, similarly, if you are seeing from the top, the top view, what I will get, I will get D first and then in bracket A. Similarly, from the top C inside B, C, B, like this. So the first question is over, right? First, you can keep on saving this. So first question is over. Now, second question. Now it is appearing like a rectangle of 20 into 15. So the first length is 20 into 25. Second is 20 into 15. So take rectangle now. Uh, take take the rectangle now uh, and draw a rectangle of 20 into 15 first. Now before you do that, uh, before you do that, you should understand uh, this is a problem where the length has shrunk. That means there will be an angle with respect to VP that you are supposed to calculate. So that we will do it later. So let me draw the uh, rectangle first. So the first is 20 here like this and then here how much 15 let us change now 15 uh, from here again then 20 uh, then from there again 50 right this is our rectangle okay you can check the dimension here uh, this is 20 this is 50 done now let me check uh, right on the uh, this one, what is this? Namings A dash, B dash, C dash, and uh, D dash. D dash. Okay. Okay. So after this, after this, what I should do is I should draw the uh, front view. To draw the front view, I should draw a rectangle construction line for drawing the arc. So I'll draw an arc like this. Now I should get the distance of this. This distance is 25, as I already know. So I'll take arc by center point. I'll click somewhere. I'll click on A dash. Now the radius is 25, as I already know. So 25, and I'll cut it here. Now I'll take zoom option. I'll take zoom option. I'll take I'll join from A dash to the intersection. To the intersection. Put it back. Check this. So select this and make it as visible because it is a view. Now check the angle between these two. The angle between these two is see here 53 degree. You can see here. You can take zoom option and zoom it. See here 53 degree. Okay. Next. So this is the second portion is over. Next, third portion, you should draw the top view, front view is over. Then left, they have asked you to calculate, uh, to draw the le left profile view. To draw the left profile view, you should draw an XY line here. But the condition here is the distance should be 30 mm. So that is very important. So if you draw a line like this, see here, if you draw a line like this, distance between these two. See, this is the profile plane. 
is the view. This should be they are given now. It is thirty nine. I should make it as thirty like this. Understood? This is a very important thing, and this should be normal line, not thick line. So this is the left profile plane. Ah, uh, sorry, the left profile plane. The distance between the profile plane and the edge on which it is resting. This is AD, right? AD is the resting uh, edge. So the gap should be thirty. So I have maintained that. Now let me continue further. So this is x one, y one here, right? And then finally, uh, I I should draw the forty five degree line from the. I should draw the forty five degree line from the corner. Now I draw the forty five degree line. Next, what I should do? I should draw the profile plane. To draw the profile plane, what I will draw is so I'll take uh, as usual. I'll take from the. Uh, Corner and extend this. Now from here I will uh, I will draw a line. Now while drawing that uh, and uh, then afterwards I will draw a line from here to here. Now trim off the extra lines, not whichever not required like this. Now whatever line I have got here, this becomes the uh, right profile plane. Where from here to you, you can take zoom here because uh, it's. Not clearly possible. So here we have an intersection. Then we have till here edge. Then again intersection here. Wait for the intersection. Uh, if it's not coming, then go to tools. Uh, Intelli sketch relationship. Switch off midpoint for a while because you want intersection. So now you can see you'll get the intersection properly. See here intersection. Then back to the here to join the. End point. That is over. Now, what is the uh, value uh, naming now? So you should take and name it as this is a double dot, a double dash, this is b double dash, this is c double dash, this is d double dash. Okay. So this is what the namings of the uh, side view looks like. Now let me get the angle between these two. Angle between these two is, uh, as we all know, it is 45. Okay. Oh, sorry, the this should be 45. Okay, so this completes your problem. You can move this a bit upwards like this. Okay, so this completes our problem. Okay, understood. So I hope you understood these two problems properly. Side view problems uh, for few more problems we'll be solving in the next class. Okay, thank you.